welcome to my garden. Just keep it rolling. If we mess up, that's fine. So, uh, so this is the first video of hopefully many weekly update videos of uh, my hydroponic garden. Um, here it is right now. This is what I have. Um, hopefully in the future these guys can keep getting higher and then over here I have some space for some more to grow some uh, some nice organic uh, leafy greens and hopefully some vegetables um, today's April 23rd 2019 um, right now I'm growing a tower of arugula spinach and kale um, this is a system that anyone can download for free. Each module costs about uh, uh, a couple dollars in raw materials. You need a 3D printer, but 3D printers now are relatively inexpensive. $250, you can get a relatively good one. Um, and then you can start your own hydroponic garden at home. Um, other than the modules, you know, I have these vases at the bottom. They're from Ikea. Uh, got them, made them for this because they look. No, no, keep it the other way. Yep. So uh, I got these vases from Ikea because they look um, pretty. Um, bad thing about that is that there's not that much water in the bottom, but hopefully by next week, I'm gonna have a huge 55 gallon drum that's going to be feeding uh, water and nutrients into the, the system. Where so, did you get the drum from? Home Depot. $107. Um, I was looking at this huge industrial vat. Uh, that might be, that's $400 for, might be in the future turn this into an aquaponic system and then we can for our own fish uh, but for now, I think I'm going to keep it uh, small and just hydroponic. Um, the reason I like this is because I'm lazy. Uh, and it's just really easy to maintain. I don't have to do anything. Check the water maybe once every two weeks. And uh, that's about it. You know, they don't, they don't, uh, you know, they're not going to die if I don't water them hmm, that's... every once in a while. Uh, so, as opposed to conventional gardening, you know, right now we're going to have a contest, a weekly contest of hydroponic against conventional gardening. We have plenty of space. You want to take a, take a peek over here of some, uh, some dirt we have available. Uh, just not those. And over here, to our left, yeah, we can uproot all that stuff and just plant conventional uh, fruits and veggies. Um, but here, if you take a close look here, this is the problem with um, you know conventional that a lot of people run into. They forget to water, and I, you know, you can put drip systems in here. Um, and it'll be easier but uh generally people don't do that so this is uh i don't know what happened here i, I wasn't in charge of it candace is in charge of the conventional candace is my lovely girlfriend she's off camera filming this right now um but we'll see we'll see what happens here maybe we can have some some beautiful herbs growing out of this thing maybe. at some point we'll see. um so yeah, so so that's it. How, zoom in on the on the seedlings. So we have uh, these guys are about a week old. Um, there's a, that guy fell and he's he's dead, but there's another guy coming out Who's of this guy oh. right here. Um, there's another guy coming out of there, so um, hopefully he'll be okay. Um, 
yeah but yeah this is uh super easy you know um if you have any questions feel free to ask like your shirt <laughs> Um, and, um, yeah, so typically the questions are, um, you know, let's how say much, you want to, if I, how, how much would this cost me if I wanted to get started? Okay. How this? much would it cost you? Great question. So if you take a look at this, first you need a 3d printer. Okay. That's, so that'll be somewhere from $250 to $350 for a relatively good one, um, off Amazon. It's amazing, the Chinese, they used to make crap, right? But now okay. the quality is getting much, much better, but the prices are still rock bottom. I don't know how they do it. I don't know, I guess, I don't know what the minimum wage is over there. Probably not any, any minimum wage, I don't know, but you can get really good stuff for cheap delivered to your house anywhere in the world, or at least in the US. Um, so yeah, so so two hundred fifty dollars, buy... and then and then so you know the plastic. So this is plastics. This is PLA plastic. It's a food safe, um, uh, biodegradable plastic that costs about ten dollars, ten to fifteen dollars per five kilograms, um, which will probably make you this. I mean, just like this tower, and you know for fifteen bucks. Um, what if I don't want to buy a 3D printer? Is there a way that oh. I can just get this system? Yeah, good question. So you could, there are websites that are like Airbnb for, I don't know if that's a good, it's like, it's people have 3D printers and they'll print out anything you send them and then they'll charge you a fee for it. There'll be a premium on it because they're going to make money doing that. Um, but if you don't have a 3D printer, you could do that. You know, there's, it's called 3D Hubs, and it's a marketplace, so people are competing on um, price. And then you can get, you know, it'll be a little bit more expensive. But yeah, you can get anything printed and sent to your house. Um, the pump, seven dollars on Amazon. This tubing, you know, a huge mm. thing for like. You know, ten bucks. Um, nutrients, General Hydroponics, three-part system off Amazon. Uh, it's like it's relatively inexpensive. It's like thirty bucks for a starter kit. I think that includes the pH adjustment um, kit. Uh, maybe some pH, a pH meter might be ten dollars on Amazon. Um, you know, there's some other stuff that you can get, but you don't really need to get it. Um, and that's that's about that. So, what about the little? Um, where do you put the seedlings in to get them? To oh, grow? oh yeah. So this, I use something called rock wool, which I st I don't know how it's made. I I've read it's it's spun rock. Um, so that is super cheap off Amazon mm -hmm. um, I there's also clay pebbles that you can you can use I have over here I sometimes use uh, a bit a little bit of both you can use peat moss you can use different mediums it's just basically a medium a sterile medium to put the seeds in to germinate for them to grow uh, the rock wool works great in my experience um, just use whatever works for you at, at, at least you know this is the easiest thing in my opinion to use because it doesn't dry out so like, that's my philosophy in life you got to make it easy baby to do it got to make it easy baby <laughs> you know if you want to keep doing it so this is the freaking easiest way to grow plants that i have encountered ever um so yeah so okay. you have any questions let us know. Hopefully, you know, so next week we're going to do another video. And hopefully, we'll have it, you know, maybe have a little bit more plants. The ones that are, haven't germinated will germinate. I'll put everything in here. Maybe another one. And then we'll have a big blue drum 
full of water and nutrients that will automatically replenish the water um, when it gets to a certain level. Hopefully this is, we'll actually, we'll have the drum definitely, but the system, you know, sometimes it takes me a little longer to do stuff. Uh, hopefully we'll get that done too. Sounds good.